What's up guys, so today in this video I'm going to be showing you a very simple thing to do in Asana and that is seeing the completed tasks uh, as well as incomplete tasks. I'm going to show you a, different way, a few different ways you can view those. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS. What we do is we help business owners by just like you help them optimize their information systems. So that means setting up uh, systems in Airtable for CRM asset management. Uh, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, and Zapier and Integromat to connect all the systems together. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So as you can see, we are in Asana here, just in a basic web browser. And you can see there's some tasks. This is just like a dummy, uh, I'll call it a workspace. Um, and it's just a simple client fulfillment project that we have open here. And what you might wanna see is you might wanna see the completed tasks. That's probably why you're here. So if you, real quick, if you just wanna see the completed tasks, you would come right here. So you could see like your project up here, you see add task here. It'll probably say all tasks here. But what you wanna do is you wanna click on this, then click completed tasks, and then you can click all completed tasks, which will show you all of your completed tasks, or any task mark complete since just today, since yesterday, since one week ago, since two weeks ago, and since three weeks ago. So we'll just do all completed tasks. So this now filters out the uncompleted tasks and just shows you completed. So what you might wanna do is when you do something like this, if you don't want to see the completed tasks in here, or you only want to see the completed, what I would now do is I would come up here and click these three little buttons right here and click this layout as the default. Now when you click this, this will be your layout. Whenever you open this project, it'll open up to this view. So I like to do it with the uncompleted tasks. That way I can see everything that's outstanding, that's like left, left to do for me. That way I don't have to see everything that I've already done and have to use this, like make, uh, have to get much decision fatigue on what I should actually be doing. So that's the really short and easy way to find this. You just again come up here where it says completed tasks or incomplete tasks maybe for you or all tasks maybe for you. And you just click whichever one you want, uh, filter by the dates, and then you can come up here and save this layout as a default. Now if you're really using Asana and you really love it, what you might wanna go do is say something happens in Airtable in your CRM, your asset management database, and something happens in there, the data changes and you want to be adding tasks in your Asana. So if you want to learn how to set up that process from something triggering in Airtable and then updating and creating tasks in Asana, you can go check out this video right here. It's really a short, simple, sweet tutorial on how to automate checklists from Airtable, changes in data in Airtable, and put them in your Asana task list. So I really hope you enjoy that video, and without further ado, I'll see you there, and have a great day.